Arcade, 1993, directed by Albert Pyun, starring Megan Ward, Peter Billingsley, and Seth Green. A pair of friends must band together to save the rest of their friends and defeat an experimental new video game, which captures anyone who loses it. It is very important to preface this review by pointing out that this is a straight-to-video film, which grants it a little leeway. These films weren't made with the intention of making millions or garnering critical acclaim. They were typically made for bargain bins and video rentals. This film vaguely attempts to present itself as Tron, reimagined as a horror movie. There are cyberpunk elements present, but there are a few things the script doesn't bother explaining, like capturing people when they lose, warping reality when they threaten to stop playing it, or why people wearing VR gloves would need to operate a joystick. The actors do the best they can with what they're given. Everyone looks and acts like real teenagers in high school. Speaking of actors, this movie has an unbelievable amount of familiar faces in it. Megan Ward from Encino Man and General Hospital, Peter Billingsley from A Christmas Story, Seth Green from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Family Guy, John Delancey from Star Trek The Next Generation and Breaking Bad, Don Stark from That 70s Show. Disney threatened to sue the studio because of the visual similarities it had with Tron, so they were forced to postpone release and redo all of the CG, which is ridiculous because this was a harmless, low-budget, straight-to-video release. I wish I could see a version of the film with the pre-lawsuit CG. Because what they came up with versus what the original trailer features left a lot to be desired, even if the script doesn't give you much to work with. This movie makes you feel like it's 2 a.m. on a Saturday night and you're flipping through the channels. There's nothing else but infomercials on, so you may as well. Verdict? Meh. If you're looking for well-written cyberpunk, this isn't going to do much for you. But if you're looking for some early 90s low-budget cheese with an alarming amount of familiar faces, you're going to have a good time with this one. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next week for another thrilling low-budget adventure.